Hello everybody, my name is Satyam. I've been working on compilers, debuggers and performance tools for the last 15 years. The last one and a half year I've been working on a performance tool for Android. During this time, I learned about Dynamic PM and it is pretty interesting and I want to share some of this with you today. As many of you know, Dynamic PM is the one that is responsible to run your apps run on Android. When we write our apps, we generally don't care about how it really works. Well, it probably is not something radically different, it is just like JVM. It loads the bytecode, imprints them and runs on the hardware. And sometimes it just does just-in-time compilation of those interpreted bytecodes on the hardware. And it also does memory management too. However, it works a little differently than the normal JVM. It is supposed to work in a kind of constrained environment which has less memory, which, has, uh, which needs to run on low-powered CPUs, as well as less battery. In this talk, I will discuss some of the interesting workings of the Dynamic PM, highlighting some of the differences. This will just not be interesting to learn about Dynamic, but you will be able to understand why something behaves as the behave. Please join me in my Dynamic session at Broadcom.